Morning children, hope you all are safe and healthy. Increase your immune system by eating healthy like food rich in vitamin C. Now coming to your studies. Last class we started our second chemistry chapter acid bases and salts. We had done acids, water acids, water bases and about indicators. I hope you all have done your homework. We started about indicators in the last class. What are indicators? Indicators are substances to identify acids or bases based on their nature. Nature is acidic or basic. Acids have a nature, acidic, bases have a nature, basic. Litmus is one such natural acid. I had told, given an example of indicators, a natural indicator, litmus is a natural indicator which we get from lichens. Now, what does this litmus do? How does it tell whether the substance is acidic or basic? When this litmus is added to acidic medium, it turns red. Whereas, when added to basic medium, it turns blue. This is how it tells about acidic or basic by changing its color. Litmus is available in two forms in uh, markets, uh, liquid form and in the form of paper strips. Now we'll go through the chapter from the book. From the book, we have to read the paragraph and then we'll understand what is given in the book. Litmus, a natural dye, that means a color changing substance. The most commonly used natural indicators is litmus. It is extracted from lichens. Lichens are plant-like substance from which this litmus is made. It has a mauve color in distilled water. When added to an acidic solution, it turns red and when added to basic solution, it turns blue. So this is the change in the color. It is available in the form of solution or in the form of strips of paper known as litmus paper. Generally, it is available as red and blue litmus paper. There are two types of litmus papers, red and blue. These both are available in market. This is the plant lichens from which we get litmus papers. Now next is the activity. Children, I wanted to show you this activity live with a litmus paper in hand. But due to lockdown, as litmus paper is not available, we have to understand this activity verbally. Sorry, we have to do this activity verbally and you have to understand it verbally. Mix some water with lemon juice in a plastic cup, tumbler or test tube. The vessel can be any but the substance it should be lemon juice mixed with water. Put a drop of our solution on the stripe of red litmus paper with the help of a dropper. Now this lemon juice. Lemon juice first of all children whether it's acidic or basic. We have read in the last paragraph that it is acidic and it contains the acid citric acid. So when the citric acid is put in red litmus paper what will happen? It will be red. Because in acid, it will be red. So, it will be red itself. No change in the color. Is there any change in color? No. Repeat the same exercise with the blue litmus paper. Now, what will happen if the paper is blue litmus paper then? This blue litmus paper will turn red. Note down if there is any change in the color. Yes, the color changes to red. So, this is what it identifies that the lemon juice is acidic and not basic. If it would have been basic, then there would have been color change that red litmus will, would have turned into blue. Perform the same activity with the following substances. Tap water. Tap water children. Tap water it depends on the area whether the substances are mixed acidic or basic or it can be neutral too. Detergent it is basic. Aerated drinks you all know it's acidic. Soap solution basic it is soapy to touch shampoo soapy to touch basic common salt solution it is neither acidic nor basic because common salt means na na is neither acidic nor basic cl is also neither acidic nor basic so nacl or the salt solution is neither acidic nor basic sugar solution same neither acidic nor basic vinegar acidic which acid is there children Come on, you can. This is your homework to get it. Okay, no guesses. It's acetic acid. Baking soda solution. It's a base, so it will be turning, changing its color. Milk of magnesia base. Washing soda solution base. Lime water acid. If possible, 
Mix solution in distilled water. Why distilled water, children? This is a question. Why distilled water? Because distilled water is neutral. Now, what is this word neutral? We have gone. We have to got, get to know this word neutral. The substances which are neither acidic nor basic and there is no change of color with the indicators. These substances are called neutral substances. Record your observations. From this you can record your observations whether it is basic or acidic. In your table are there any substances on which litmus had no effect? Yes, salt solution, sugar solution, tap water, there was no effect. That means what are these? Name those substances. These three are having no effect. The solutions which do not change the color of either red or blue litmus are known as neutral substances. Neutral means neither acidic nor basic. These substances are neither acidic nor basic. This much for today children. It is a small portion taught in small fragments. Go through it. Understand it. In case of any doubts, please ask through Campus Care. Feel free to ask. Thank you children.